Okay, today is August 28th. This is our good friend Bandit, who's here now for about a week in our residential treatment program, so to speak. And it is kind of like a rehabilitation center in the fact that we put structure in the dog's lives to eliminate any bad behavior. So the first thing we teach a dog, or one of the many, I shouldn't say first, one of the things we teach a dog is to go to its place voluntarily. Dogs being pack animals and denning animals, the crate is the den. So notice we have a leash and collar on. If we weren't supervising the dog, the leash and collar wouldn't be on. But when the dog is under our supervision, Camille is now the dog's leader. <laughs> And this is how we begin. So the dog is barking, looking for attention. What does humans do? Some humans come over and talk and say, what's the matter, Bandit? Are you okay? Are you hungry, Bandit? Do you thirsty, Bandit? Do you have to go to the bathroom, Bandit? Blah, blah, blah. And then the dog gets dependent on the human and learns to manipulate the human. So now what Camille is going to do is take the dog out of the crate by opening it, but the dog don't come out unless he has permission. So everything has to be done with the permission of the leader. So this gate door or gate is no different than the gate. Good, okay. Okay. So the dog sat, she said okay. Okay is the release command. She stole a biscuit, or he stole a biscuit on the way out. So this is good. So now notice the leash and collar's on. How we're gonna proceed now, the dog is investigating our house. If he steals something, Camille is going to... Bandit, leave it. She said leave it. She picks up her leash and collar, because now we're going out. So now the leash and collar, because it's on all the time, doesn't represent anything. The dog is still on free time. Camille is going to ask the dog to heal, and off they go. Notice Camille is relaxed. The dog sits and waits while the door opens. So this door is no different than the crate door. Okay, so here Band is prancing now. He was objecting to walking last week. Now he's all about it. Left about turn. Notice Camille's, relax, the dog turns, Camille turns. She can go fast pace, she can go normal pace, she can go slow pace, and the dog follows, perfect. Left about turn, don't lift your hand, good, good. She's gonna slow down, That's and stop is, is the dog's signal to sit. She's gonna pivot out with her right foot, she's not saying anything. Uh, she's gonna go to the dog's side and praise. Love, love, love. She's not bending over and kissing the dog, but she's really validating the dog's good behavior with love, not food. We don't want Bandit to become an emotional eater later on in life like I have and bury her, his pain. Left foot forward is the trigger for the dog to walk. Notice, look at Camille, how relaxed she is and how pleasant. About turn. We have a lot to do, but we're good here. Uh, slow down. The dog sits. She's going to fix that by stepping out with her left, tight circle to the left. Now she's going to ask the dog to sit. She's going to say stay, step out with her right. And one of the things are, we're getting closer to a, 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 an environment of noise and sound. Here comes a car. So we, we take these noises for granted. We take cars, trucks, lawn mowers for granted. Vacuum cleaners, she's gonna call the dog. She's gonna do a left turn. Then she's going so the dog had structure. She's gonna give it some free time by taking it over to the, the shade where the dog will be placed, given a release command, but not physically released, psychologically released. Good. Right there. Good, and now, now the dog can pee, poop, sniff, and this is where you have this healthy interaction with the owner, the leader. Now he's peeing. But she's, the dog's not allowed to jump, hump, do inappropriate behaviors, but he certainly can smell, pee, he just urinated, and the pack leader, so look at this as a, in the wild. Camille would be the pack leader and the puppies kind of hang around the mommy without pulling and, and thinking on their own. Okay, I'm talking too much.